Good morning, dear saints. This is Pastor Roy Olson talking to you from wonderful and warm Chesapeake, Virginia. Talking about the benefits of abiding. Moses seemed to know something about it when he wrote in the Psalms, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Notice it's a secret place. What does it mean, secret place? Well, I suggest it means that you can't take anybody with you. It's just you and him, the Father, together with one-to-one, face-to-face, person-to-person communication. You can't take your wife there. You can't take anybody else there, your brother or your family. No, it's a secret place. It's only you and him. Now, they can have their own secret place because it's their secret place. But he that dwelleth stays there, hangs out there, spends time there. He that dwelleth in the secret place of not the very high, but the most high superlative, it doesn't get any higher than him. This is the benefit. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide, where? Under the shadow, the protection, the provision, the direction, uh, the inspiration, the empowerment, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, God, Lord God Almighty. That's what happens to the person who dwells in that secret place. Now Jesus amplified that in the New Testament. He he said, He that abideth in me and I in him, he said, two things happen. Two things happen. He that abideth in me and I in him, number one, shall bear much fruit. You want to know the secret of fruit bearing? That is in your own personal life and through your life to others. Is this, he that abideth in me and I in him, number one, shall bear much fruit. It's not a position of laziness or or uh, not uh, motivated to do anything. No, it's, it's getting direction uh, you will you will out of that secret place out of that abiding place you will know you will receive information you'll receive direction you'll receive guidance you don't run around with a chicken with its head cut off so to speak no you've been there you've been talking to the omniscient one who knows everything and what you do You do under his guidance. That's number one. Number two is this. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, number one. And number two is, and that fruit shall remain. What does that mean? It means it's you what you do, it's it's gonna have an eternal consequence. It's not just gonna blow away like the chaff from the, the hay or, or the, the lawn mowing dried out grass on the first good wind. No, it doesn't work that way. What you do when you abide in him and he abides in you, what you then do under his direction and guidance is something of eternal consequence. In other words, it will last for eternity. You're not wasting your time, your effort, but you're maximally directed and energized and efficient. Doesn't get better than that, does it? And so my my thought for today is, oh my God, let me take time to abide in you, to think about you, to seek your face. I don't have to be on my knees to do that. I can do that driving the car wherever I am. Thanks so much. This is your friend, Pastor Roy, with a thought for today. God bless you, and uh, I'll be back.